The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> This episode of Louder Louder is brought to you by WebPsych. Web and graphic design crafted by artisans. Visit their website at website.com, that's W-E-B-P-S-Y-C-H-E-D.com, or email info at website.com. With the subject, Louder Louder, to get 5% off your next web project. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <What's> up? <laughs> We're not prepared for that, but okay, let's do this. We're what? sorry, we were, we were doing, a, we were doing a, some kind of chikahan over yes. there with our voice talent, Miss, Miss Ange. Ange yes. Perez, hello. Our voice talent, thank mm-hmm. you very much for joining us here. Uh-uh. But, in retrospect, what's up and welcome to Louder Louder! 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 Hello, welcome guys. And of course, this is our second episode. Yay! Second pilot episode. Second pilot. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> it's just the second episode. No, but it's basically good. Okay, lang yan. And we, yes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. Okay. And of course, before anything else, we would like to thank everyone who watched our pilot episode last yes. week. And Yay. because of you guys, we are at the new and noteworthy section of iTunes. On we iTunes, were, yes. yes. So um, you can subscribe um, in that new and worthy podcast that we host which is called mm-hmm. Louder, Louder. Louder. <laughs> all you have to do is go to the iTunes um, app is, it, is that an app no 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 just podcast go to iTunes app, yeah. oh yes and then go to podcast and then look for Louder Louder that's one word right one yeah. word mm-hmm. or you can also download the podcast app and then you can subscribe, subscribe to yes. Louder Louder and it's absolutely free yes, yes. We love yeah. free stuff. We <laughs> love free stuff. Right? We <laughs> love free stuff. Um, if you guys just tuned in, what's up? My name is Joyce. And my name is Nikki. And you can um, follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. Just look for Louder Louder PH so that you can join the craziness and the very awkward um, pre show photo that Aspen, our boss Aspen, took. Yes, of I us. saw it. Yes, yeah. there you go. So if you want to see that um, and, and be able to um, get updated, like really updated <laughs> like right now like right now <laughs> um do so and follow us okay um nikki i actually just came from up i did a of course i'm fixing my hair yeah um i did a talk in akle for like social media and stuff so. akle means akle means alternative classroom learning experience wow so we make you experience things that you are not allowed to experience in, in your school. regular mm-hmm. classrooms okay so how so that is within the legal you know, bracket of okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. I just wanted to clear it out because, you know, there are so many other alternative things that you can learn outside your classroom that's illegal. Uh, anyway. So <laughs> Yo, and... <laughs> okay, I'm um, gonna do okay. that. Well, uh, uh, wag, 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 wag. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, so what happened? How was um, it? It was fun, it was fun. Um, we talked about, actually, social... Social responsibility, social media responsibility, which yeah. was fun, but kind of, you know... Crazy, all this stuff. So, I am. How about you? <laughs> what, what, what have you been up to the past week? Yes, because we have an event this coming Saturday. So, syempre, aside sa mga, ano mo yun, racket natin na ganito, uh, like hosting, yeah, yeah. mga ganyan. Yun, medyo uh, nag-aano din kami, nag-organize kami ng events for different clients. And this client also got me to, like, promote their product, which is a shampoo product. So, ang gagawin nila, gugupitin nila yung hair ko sa Saturday. Literally, ang haba ng yes. hair mo, girl. Mm-hmm. So, grabe no, parang si Miss Ange lang nagpagupit ng buhok. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, mm-hmm. um, so all of you guys know that we love self-deprecation on online. <laughs> yes. And so I think most of us um, have our Ask FM as if we're not already too much putting ourselves out there. Yes. So, <laughs> it's actually a place where you can ask anonymously questions. Yeah. ask questions or leave messages that are so far off, you know, the, the, the normal conversational stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, right now, I think we can answer a few questions. On your end, on your end. Okay. De, ikaw pumili. Ah, sige. So, so far now, I have 704 questions on my Ask FM inbox. <laughs> <laughs> and our, 
are you entering? And we're gonna are you entering them all? Uh, one by seven one hundred. in digital versions. <laughs> okay, so okay. Again. Oh, For sure, this question is eh, talagang inaabangan. Oh. Single ka po? <laughs> wow, Nikki, what a friend! Ah, diba? Single ka po? A lot of my friends and a lot of people out Thank there you. are asking. I, if you are single. Not just an S.FM, of course. God, God. Yes. God, what a bitch. Welcome to Louder, Louder, Joyce. <laughs> louder, <laughs> louder. What a... Anyway. Yeah, I, I am. Okay. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Are you yeah. single? I'm, yes, I'm sure. single-handedly sweeping you off your feet. Just kidding. Oh, I got one. Nah, I need to know You're supposed to uh, like you know. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll go. I come to me. Here's the photo. Ian Somerhalder or guy na God fearing Nikki. What are you saying? Ako kasi ano yun, ready ko na yung Ask.fm account ko, pero ako bigla yung tinanong uh-huh. mo, no? <laughs> I can't believe she's so pondering. <laughs> she's Sige, good girl. Pag good girl effect, guy na God. Dahil, naniniwala ka ba kasi sa Diyos? Parang hindi. <laughs> Parang hindi, but! Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh, oh, oh. The, pero, marami nagagulat dito, but I actually, parang nag- nagsaserve ako sa church before. <laughs> I don't look like I'm, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm serving mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. But before, <laughs> but but before I was active on oh, church, my choir, maganyan, yes. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> I was that kind of girl before. Ah, before. Before. So God fearing, kung before ah, ka tinanong. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. 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 Anong mga pwedeng gawin para malimutan ang lalaking niloko ka na nga, pinagmuha kang madali kang palitan at wala ka ng kwenta sa buhay niya? Okay ka lang. Sino man nagtanong yan? Medyo, medyo mahaba yung tanong yan niya. Yan tayo eh, di ba? <laughs> wait, wait. Hanap pa tayo na iba. Um, medyo hindi ko, hindi ko yung sinagot yung mga ganyang uh, questions. Oh, Mag- wait, 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 wait. Medyo kailangan malalim na ano eh. Ah, uh, yung, yung may matututunan sila sa atin, girl. Tingnan natin. Virgin ka pa ba? <laughs> well, tinanong na rin sa akin yan ilang beses. And the answer is... <laughs> well, of course, hindi ko siya sasagutin dito. There are so many things that you can say that you can say through your silence. Nikki. Well, aside from that question, nang mabenta rin, for sure mabenta rin sa'yo. Uh-huh. Kung yun nga, kagaya na sinabi ko earlier, kung ano, what's your bra size? Yeah. What's your oh, bra God. size? Oh, what's your bra size, Nikki? Siyempre, ayoko rin sagutin yan. <laughs> But ano yung sabi Bakit ko? Bakit hindi? Just say it. What's your bra size, Nikki? Oh my God, ano nga ba yun? Kalimutan ka, siyempre. I'm diba? a 34B. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boring. I know. What, But what, parang what ako, parang hinihingan ko ng follow-up question yung nagtanong sa akin yan. Sabi ko, uh-huh. bakit? Sabi niya sa akin, papadala daw niya sa station where I work. Of course, Kay Life. That's big. Th- that was Christmas, ano, Christmas season yun when he asked me. <coughs> And every time na i-check ko yung ask.fm ko, <laughs> laging, what's your bra size? Feeling ko isa tayo. Sorry. Na. Okay. Uh, okay. Bra so, size. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hanap pa tayo. Go. Are you dating someone as of the moment? And on that connotation, how does one differ a dating relationship and an official relationship? Guys, I think it's time. Yes. Boys, w- how do you differ like your relationship relationship from your dating relationship? So, so good boys. <laughs> good guys, though, no? Sheila. No? Mm-hmm. And? Boy, ma. I find that. I mean, of course. What? Girls. No? Uh, Girls, no? Uh, how about you, Nikki? What do you think differ- differentiates uh, a real relationship from like a dating kind of relationship? Well, for me, sa, sa time ngayon, I think labels na lang eh. I think. Labels? Labels, diba? If Wait, so pwede kayo mag I love you, han? Kahit dating lang kayo? Dude, ang mga kabataan ngayon ganyan. Not me, kasi hindi na ako bata. Pero ang mga kabataan ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> ganyan. Ano, ganyan talaga. May mga I love you. I love Holding you. hands, mga ganyan. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Pero, hindi pa sila officially together. And sometimes, some of them are dating someone else. Well, there you go, well, there. What? That's bullshit. Kaya nga may, may term na yun na exclusively dating, di ba? Hindi ko rin gets yun exclusively actually. Exclusively dating. Okay. I think the dating kind of differ- is different if you're not committed. Is my taba showing? It kind of is. Okay. 
Let me just okay. pull up my pants. <laughs> yeah, Nina. Sorry, this is why I don't date. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is that sound? Is that my breath? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm okay. gonna stop doing that. I'm gonna stop doing that. Sorry, sorry, boss Pico. Um, our other, our other, our other boss Pico is um, is um, back from the states. From Welcome his, back yes, from his from his land of far, oh, mm-hmm. far, far away. So yeah, um, if you guys have your questions that you don't wanna be that you don't wanna ask anonymously, you can do it by posting it or tagging us on Twitter at louder louder ph or at joyspring. And at Nikki Kai Seventeen. Nikki Kai. Ah, oh, de ba napaka 17. napaka high school nung name. Very ko. damn years. May so, one seven pa. May may meron pa talaga. May number pa talaga. Duo. Yes. Yes, and you can also check out, of course, Amplify.ph to see all of the cool artists. I think Talata is your artist of the month, right? So yeah, sila Mama Rich ang artist of the month natin. So you can check it out, and of course, get their tracks, two tracks for free. Is that mm-hmm. two? Yeah, a couple of tracks for free. Yes, follow them on Twitter and Facebook. That's Amplify PH. I think so. Ayaw. I'm not sure, but mm-hmm. I think so. We get the go sign. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. So in a little bit, we'll be calling in our guest for tonight. So hold yeah. on there. You have your friends and your family who want to watch the coolest pad- podcast mm-hmm. on the internet. To do, let us, do let them know louder, louder. And we'll be back after this. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the new Media Factory family. Then the maid got Jontis. Jontis is different from Jontis. Jontis is Buntis. Like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears off. Tears off. Anyway, Jontis does not know. <laughs> This is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so, John Tis, and I'm now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at this, the third of it. Tayo, so many snacks. Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos. Ang puti. Ay, tapo. Dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Consigo. <laughs> yeah, para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Ayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba ito? Oil absorbing? Pwede ba itong pang nose line? <laughs> Tita oh. Kay, may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Mas ah! <laughs> anong glamour te! Oh. When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> oh, burahin na, burahin na siya. <laughs> Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakapin. Dapat pala, caution mo na yung pinasin natin. Join your host, Carrot Nazareno on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30 only here on The Factory. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, all that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show. Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina. And... Like a double blowjob. 
Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro. Vagina? Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. What? Yeah, welcome, welcome to Louder Louder. Yeah. Oh, we're back. What's <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. I was just Oh saying. shit, we're on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Ladder Ladder. My name is Joyce Spring. And my name is Nikki. And joining us here tonight is a very talented artist and also a very good beer drinker. Please give it up oh, yeah. for the <laughs> Francis <laughs> Brew! <laughs> Who was just talking about armpits? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure, armpits. <laughs> It's all about armpits. You know, it's it's just I don't get it, <laughs> boys. Why do you like armpits? I mean, I mean, <laughs> they're white awesome. Armpits, of course. Okay, <laughs> nice armpits. And 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 Francis was talking about like if it, it's kind of kind of a sexist thing because if a it guy, is, it is a sexist okay, thing. okay, it's a sexist thing because if a guy has like a dark hair, yeah, 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 a guy has uh, you know dark hairy armpits and it's like, oh, dude, you. You're so fucking, manly. You're uh, fucking wrong. True. I, I can say the F word, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, lang. Of course. Yeah. You, you can sing it if you want to. Any, <laughs> we just have to be responsible and, yeah. and yes. make sure this. No, no, honestly, you know, a guy with heart, with, 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 with arm, you know, hairy armpits. Do you have hairy armpits? Uh, I'm not going to show you guys. <laughs> Make coating hair, which is really embarrassing uh -huh. for a guy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I have chest hair, all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know, no, this is Mom this man. is the way I look at it. Uh, we're all, you know, we're all creatures of God. Mm -hmm. uh, a reference to your, you know, your religiousness. Oh, yes. No, no, because no, it's okay. Uh, I, I believe in. You know, we're all created equal, so you know, we all have hair in our armpits. You know, that's cool. And sometimes it's gonna be dark. Sometimes it's gonna be light. You know, if if you love a person, you know, you know, fuck it. It, it, mm, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter right? mm, yeah. But in general, you know, because I think people are asking about Joyce's armpits. Yeah. Right? Yes. Because yeah. <laughs> she has fair skin. You know, so gumanon and see Joyce, and then it's like, oh my God, she has the darkest fucking armpits. Ever. <laughs> turn it's off, like, like turn it's off a turn off, off right? Mm -mm. But you know, but if you look at Joyce as a, you know, purely as a human being. Dude, it's okay. It's okay. It's a human being. It's okay. I mean, okay. you know, uh, you know, we were born with these things, and 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 honestly, you know, the, uh, the armpit, like the feet. Uh huh. Uh, nobody sees it, you know, every day. Because uh -huh. we all react to, oi, uh, my muscles. Oh, you know, big tits and whatever, and yeah. nice face yeah. and whatever. 
But you know, the armpits of the feet, you know, these are the, the parts of the human body that I think most people don't I get, get it. I get it. Until get they it. smell it. I get See, it. See, that's the common thing about the, the feet and the armpits. You know, uh, nobody cares about these parts until they smell it. Or right? see it. Mm -hmm. Or see it. Or see it. Yeah. No, even if you, you know, even if you see it, as long as it doesn't smell funny. You, uh -huh. know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Okay. So <laughs> it's 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 unfair for uh, for uh, for guys as a guy myself. Look, if you love someone and she has hairy armpits or you know they're kind of dark, as long as they don't smell, you know it's okay. Come Accept on, it. Accept, Accept it. it. <laughs> Accept it. Accept the dark yeah, armpits. Yeah. You're gonna be. You're gonna have to sleep with it every single night. Exactly. As long as you don't have to smell it, it's okay. If, as long if, as he showers, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even like yeah. twice a week. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Besides, guys, come on, your guys. You know, any orifice will suffice. Right? <laughs> hair or no hair, you don't. You don't give a shit if it's if it's here, here, <laughs> or here. As long as the uh, the the said orifice provides the proper uh, tension uh -huh. that guys need, uh -huh. you guys don't give a. You don't yeah. see. Yeah. See, see, data, data's like yeah. No, I agree. Okay. We get it. Okay, yeah. now I get it. Cool. Armpits. Yeah. Very nice things. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to know that uh, Joyce is single because, you know, I have friends <laughs> recently on my Facebook asking, you know... About her. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I see her every once in a blue moon, you know, I only see her on Facebook and stuff, so... We're uh, Facebook friends, that's right. Yeah. We're, we're Legit. Good. I think, I think we're, we're, we're good friends, but we're more yeah. Facebook friends than actual friends. Yeah, but I, then we're I, still I friends. Don't see yeah. so I, I didn't even know that you're single now. Surprise, so, it's only yeah. been a month. Yeah, hey. So, so, yeah. so uh, to best. all my Facebook friends who want to be friends with, with, uh, with Joyce. This is a big know, announcement. Now, excellent announcement. I don't, I don't feel like I'm pimping her or anything. Yeah, you kind and of pimps are pimping. get paid, by the way. <laughs> And drinking your beer at the same time. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's, that's so right. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not an endorser. I just enjoy this thing. Just yeah. enjoy drinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you single, Nikki, by the way? Yes. Because I'm going to uh, look for you on Facebook. So, you know. Uh, might so you can also you. pimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. How about you, Francis? Mm -hmm. Would you like to talk about uh, the, this that This is your part? show. So. <laughs> no, but you are our oh, guest. Wow. But you oh, are wow. our guest. Oh, so you, have, it. so you <laughs> have to share. <laughs> Yeah, we're guests. Oh, so no. Well, this is your <laughs> show. Uh, you know, the guest always has the right to say, well, you know, I'm not, not, not going to talk about that. Okay. I what are we going to talk about I'm then, okay, guys? I'm okay. I was like, I invoke okay. my right to yes, invoke okay. your right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, okay. that's one of the, um, the, the quote, I invoke my right from the police, is actually mm -hmm. one of the most, or one of the top trending topics from 2013. She fucking abused it. Yeah, she did. But I she trended right. for it. <laughs> Is uh, is she guilty or not? Let's wait for the final verdict. Of course, as far as we're all concerned, she is guilty. But <laughs> so we can uh, see. Yeah. yeah, but you know, whoever her fucking lawyers are, that's a good abuse. luck. Mm -hmm. That's a of their education, right there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, Francis, what have you been up to lately? Uh, pretty much nothing. No, no. I'm <laughs> uh, um, I still. Uh, um, write stuff for uh, for for Yao, mm -hmm. and then I have uh, I have a band called uh, Pesa Movement, and I'm really proud to be in that band. But we'll probably discuss that later. Later, mm -hmm. yeah. When we do the the, the thing, you know. Yeah, the, the thing, thing later. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but generally, it's the, the the usual everyday thing, you know. Uh, I still love playing music, trying to make music, uh, you know, <coughs> taking photographs. So. Uh, Tomorrow you'll see photographs of yourselves mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and uh, because I respect um, what you guys look like, I'm not gonna put it on my public Facebook page. Uh huh. Okay. So you know we'll just put it on my private on your page. private like, okay. on yeah, your private yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Uh, the That's one the advantage of being an, an old guy. You respect boundaries because you know there's the private and then there's the public. public. So. But then you tagged my private Facebook account on some random dude's status like two days ago. Mm, no, that because he posted that thing on my. Uh, oh, he posted it on your Facebook. Oh, yeah, it was on my Facebook. But he he posted he, it. It means he knew your. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah no. He 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 did find. He probably saw uh, some some video footage of us working together or a, a picture uh. that we were. 
you know, because mm -hmm. we, uh, we we never were we never actually worked together on on video. Yeah. In that yeah. Uh, in that in that music channel, which you know, much respect. Mm -hmm. um, but probably on Facebook, which means that that person who said. Um, Spring <laughs> probably was, you know, going through my Facebook friends and going, <clears throat> okay, that check's hot. <laughs> Holy shit, that's Joy Spring. Do, do boys really do that? Like, you go to your random guy, guy friends, you know, Facebook and then just look. Because Come I'm on, you yes, gave the look. You gave the look. Yes, I think. Because I have a lot of guy friends who do that. They check my Facebook account to look for other, girls that they can add. girls? Yes. Yeah. What? All that's I have, weird. All I have to, to, to remind you guys of is, mm -hmm. you know, ask each one of the, the people here in this room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I better do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, uh, Diggy's my friend. Joe's my friend. Ah, <laughs> uh, does she have other hot friends? <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's the thing with boys. Okay, armpits and checking out other people's Facebook yeah. account. See, the great thing about Facebook is you can't smell the armpit, you can't smell, you know, you can't smell the foot, right? Yes. And you also can't smell the bad personality. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. Oh, there we go. Okay. Anyway, uh, yes. you just want to go on a break? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah? No? Yes, yes, yes. Break, yeah. <laughs> always on a break, and we are going into one right now. Stay tuned. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites open it and hit subscribe and that's it you're done congratulations and welcome to the new media factory family hi they say nothing in this world is free and for the most part that's true but here at nmf network all shows are indeed 100 percent free and as an added feature you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it, you're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. And you are still watching us live right here at nmfnetwork.tv So if you guys want to check it out and tell your friends all about it You can do so by just letting them know how to log in and watch us And you can also subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and through the podcast app Yes, yes, yes And you can also follow Amplify PH Twitter account That's twitter.com slash Amplify P. H amplify. 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 Amplify PH and amplify. like them on Facebook as well. Are you saying the the Francis Bruce just you know it's dodging our camera, yeah. but yeah, he's gonna be back in five, 
four, three, two, one, and welcome again. Welcome back. Sorry, I just did what was what's natural for everybody. a man who's drinking mm -hmm. beer. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So now we have our top indie acts of 2013 to run down. Our with best independent acts of 2013. Of course, first we have. Dun 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 dun. Maybe you have a drum roll, my girl. Ah, nga eh. Dun 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 dun. Abra. Well, I agree. Sobrang nagboom talaga siya nung 2013. Yeah, that's true. Um, I actually got the chance to interview Abra for for my podcast before Purvey TV. Sa pilot episode naman namin, he also performed. Did he perform? He performed that night, de ba? Yeah. Mm. See, so, yeah, I think Abra's good to tapos ano pa? I got to see him live. Tapos and and then he would always talk about. It. I'd I'd ask him like, how do you do the raps and how do you write? And he says you have to constantly read. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He has to constantly read, you know. Because for you to talk fast, to be parang and clear, kailangan. Yeah, but also aside from talking fast and clear, it's it's more of like having a content in in the things that he's saying, and then like you know stitching the words together and all that stuff. So yeah, I mean you know with with Abra, I mean I think the most important thing because you know you know he he's hip hop and he 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 deals with. You know, with with rap and hip hop, you're dealing with the spoken word. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the spoken word essentially. So, if you have no reference points as far as uh, you know, uh, as far as uh, literary con uh, references are concerned, then mm -hmm. then you're nothing. It's kind of like uh, you know, me being a guitar player, being a musician. You're not. Um, you know, it's a it's a constant thing trying to uh, be in touch with with the vocabulary of mm -hmm. of of, of, uh, of other. Well, guitar players, for example, um, yeah. even if you can't do that thing that this other guitar player does, you kind of have to understand the licks that this person does mm -hmm. because it gives you more insight into uh, the instrument that you're playing, and uh, because you, you know, and and because you know, let's face it, um, in most forms uh, forms of uh, modern music, since. Uh, you know, we're always dealing with a vocalist. We're we're always mm -hmm. de uh, dealing with words, and uh, I think most people react to uh, musicians. Uh, you know, having been in a band for hundreds of years, <laughs> <laughs> hundreds of years, like a little. And when fossil. people say that, you know, guitar players get the chicks. Fuck that, man! I don't believe that. Then who oh. gets the chicks if guitar? It's always guitar the vocalist player. because you know. Yeah. It's always the vocalist. It's it's normally the vocalist. You know okay. why? Because why? and I can I can write a fucking book about it. <laughs> um, when you know when when uh, when when uh, a normal non mem uh, member of the audience, one or two or ten thousand or whatever, um, they're just reacting to. Someone, um, and, and and you know, and, and the person of a of a rapper or a vocalist, mm -hmm. they're dealing with something that they can relate to. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. a rapper or a vocalist. You know, the uh, an audience member would go, "No, I can do that," because you know, if 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 you have a guitar in front of you, it's a person with a utensil. Yeah, that you have to know how to operate. Right. Yeah. Then, then you get into the, then you get deep into you know if and 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 if you're a, you know if you're an audience member and you see a, a guy playing a guitar, then you get into the guitar and then you or or any instrument for that matter, and then um, you kind of get lost mm -hmm. in yeah, yeah. the intricacies, the the nuts and bolts of, of 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 that instrument. But when you see a singer or a rapper, that's just straightforward. It's straight. Wait, he's using words. Yeah, yeah. He has yeah, a yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah. He or she has a voice. Mm -hmm. So do I. I can fucking do that. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know? it's that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, Abra's doing a great job. And uh, here's the thing about you know, I'm I'm not a hundred percent familiar with his music, <clears throat> but um, what I do appreciate about what he's doing is, you know. There's a lot of people locally in the Philippines, you know, who are into hip hop and and and, and that thing, and and um, sometimes, let's be honest. Um, no, most of the time, let's be honest. Most of the musical forms that we deal with are based on American or, or European yeah. forms. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then and 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 it's inevitable that the music is tied in with the culture or the, or the subculture that mm -hmm. uh, that partic particular piece of music is associated with. So when people get into hip hop, they feel that you know they have to be you know they have to sound African American yeah. or whatever. But then you see Abra. Who does his own thing. He does his own thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you're a musician, if you love music and then you choose to be a musician, um, you you get the form that you're uh, that, that you love and you're familiar with and then you seep it in you know, you combine it with yeah. your own personal experience mm -hmm. and your own cultural um, experience mm -hmm. and that's what makes you original, and then you know, I, you know, you see Abra. He, he, he's a good-looking guy. He doesn't yes, have, you know, the, the, the pants where you know you can see the fucking. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason why African Americans do that. For one thing, they're in fucking America, right? <laughs> you know. Um, pero kung Pilipino ka, medyo off. Iba yung uh -huh. iba yung uh, iba sensibilidad eh. natin pagdating sa sa fashion dahil. It's it's kind of like in the early 90s we you know when the grunge thing happened and then mm -hmm. everyone started fucking wearing flannel even dito sa Pilipinas. There's a reason why the grunge in the grunge era Pearl Jam and Nirvana wore flannel because they live in fucking Seattle because it's <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. Mm, it's cold. And they have to fucking wear flannel. Tas yung mga local na influence ng Nirvana and Pearl Jam. Get in there. flannel uh, din. In a tropical country. In a tropical. Tangi na dude, ang init dito sa Pilipinas. You have no fucking reason to wear fucking flannel. You it know? looks good. It, it does look good. But it's So yung si Abra, uh, you know, um just like just like see 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 uh see lock nine see ah, see. Um, um influenced by a western form and you know because we're western influenced that's all that's all good Tang ako personally tanggap ko yun walang problema sa akin if we are western influenced that's part of our fucking culture don't fucking fight it don't fucking argue with it yeah it's, it's part all of it. okay pero yung puso what you're trying to express that's what that's what makes it filipino regardless mm. of the genre that you pick that's true. So say Abra, that great choice. Who chose it? Mm. Who chose Abra? We chose Abra. Yes, awesome. everyone chose Abra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The whole podcast chose Abra. Great. And from one amazing artist, we move on to another one. We have Autotelic. Yay. Yeah. Autotelic, I got to um, watch them perform live in, where is it? Sagiho. And it, they're one of those bands who who would always innovate the kind of sound that that, oh, yeah. that, that mm -hmm. they have, and yeah. and they move on from 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 one genre to another, and then mix it up, and then <clears throat> write another song, and then do all these things. And I think that's what's great about our indie acts here in the Philippines. Is yes, that, you know, they they really take care and then move forward with the kind of music that they make, and so right. they experiment it, as well. Yeah, yeah. they experiment. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's always great to see them. Um, Perform live because it's always like a different kind of show when you when you when you per, when you see them perform. Plus, you mga recorded um, tracks panela is not the same as as the ones they they do live. That's very right? important. Yeah. Yeah. So very that's important. cool. Para may variety din na hindi lang pare para yung na napapakinggan. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, I I love Autotelic because uh, wait I gotta finish this <laughs> because they were part of my list. So, you know, I, I have this housemate, Adrian Arceg of, of, of Stereo Deal. You know, he's a fucking genius as far as I'm concerned. And if he watches this, he thinks I'm, he probably thinks that I go up to his room watch him while he's sleeping. Um, but anyway, you know, I. Okay. <laughs> You know, I you know I wake up late, but you know he's you know he he's a very smart dude. Uh, you know he directs episodes of Bati but mm -hmm. you know he's a fantastic guitar player and and songwriter. Anyway, you know I woke up late as as I usually do after lunch. I go up. Then he you know he was trying to get some work done, and then he was playing some music, and I was like, oh, okay, this is music that I never heard before. Just the music, all right? Mm -hmm. Awesome, fantastic. Tapos bigla akong nalang, nalang narinig Tagalog lyrics. Yeah, no. So I had to walk back into his uh, workspace. Dude, sino yan? Oh, it's Autotelic. Because yung tunog ng Autotelic, um, uh, very much steep into, uh, if, you're, if you're a hipster, <laughs> which I'm not, um, but I recognize what hipsters like. Uh. So I recognize, this is really good, you know, well, uh, okay, bottom line, as a musician, 
I love the music, you know. Yeah. Who's, who's this band that I had never heard of? Mm -hmm. Just one This is my opinion. Um, Autotelic is a fine example of a band that pays attention to what's happening to the rest of the world. Yeah. And if you're a hipster. <laughs> yeah. Quote unquote. I don't hate you guys, all right? We love you. <laughs> we love you. Um, but you, yeah, you know, you mga hipster, like I said, they're always at the forefront of, of new forms or new uh, versions of, of old forms. You know, bahala na kayo how you want to take that. YOLO! <laughs> Woohoo! And next, are we good? I don't um, even fucking know what YOLO is. But anyway, <laughs> yung autotelic, um, I heard really... Uh, Extremely up to date modern music, pero Tagalog. And, and the Diba? melodies, and the, and the melodies yeah. are. Burp, you, said, you heard my burp. Pop worthy. <laughs> Pop, yes, as far yes, as exactly. I'm concerned, if you ask my opinion, and I know that they're kind of queuing, you know, the next band, whatever, because, you know, sorry, I, I, I've had drinks and I'm talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, where, this is when I'm really extremely honest. Um, there's enough melodies in there. There's enough melodies and, and there's enough uh, lyrical uh, sensibilities. Now, if you're complaining about why um, is the situation of the musical landscape in the Philippines, even sa, sa masa level, why is it like this? My question is, why isn't a band like Autotelic who has enough pop melodies and enough intelligence in their lyrics. Why are why aren't they in pop in in, in pop stations? They fucking deserve to be there. And True. pag sinabi na yung masa eh, eto lang yung gusto ng masa eh. Ang sinasabi ko lang ngayon, ang masa hindi tanga. <laughs> and I'm That's telling true. you, pag lumabas yung one song from Autotelic, they will say when you, when they hear the words and when they hear the melodies, they're gonna go. That's really good music. And then when they dig deeper, yung form yeah. mm -hmm. is not their usual. It's, it's not the usual thing. Mm -hmm. This is why yung mass media has a gigantic responsibility to ex to, to, to to expand on your perceptions of people. Eh? You know, as far as what they believe to be good stuff or bad stuff is it? Eh? Mm -hmm. You know, yung mass believe in what's accessible and ganon. Autotelic is all of that, but the form that they choose. Is not your usual run-of-the-mill stuff as far as the current uh, pop music landscape is concerned. Uh, and and I'm, not, I'm not dissing any of the current pop artists, by the way, because, you know, we're all trying to make a living and we're all trying to make music and yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. Pero kung medyo masa na nanonood ng episode na to, Hi! Hanapin yung Autotelic. Pakinggan nyo sila. Pakinggan nyo sila. Oh my God, that... That's really, really good stuff. And if you want um, to have an idea of what the potential future of Pinoy pop music is, as far as I'm concerned, Autotelic should be right up there. There okay. we go, Autotelic. Yes. Okay. Next, we have Earth Mover. Earth Mover. Mm -hmm. They're based in Cebu, right? I, I think. Oh, here, oh, here, here, yeah. Based okay, here okay, in Manila. Okay. Well, you, get to, you got to watch them in Cebu last Sinulog. Yes, yes. for Blast Off. For first Sinulog Blast Off. Mm -hmm. And um, Earth Mover is kind of like, they're kind of like elbow for me with the kind mm. of sound that, that oh, they make. I love make. elbow. I love elbow too, Dude, I love right? Elbow. I love elbow. And then when I got to perform them, uh, to see them perform live, it's you got just, to perform there. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. I'm a very good performer. Um, <laughs> I sing. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. She's a great singer. She's a singer. Yeah. A very good singer. Mm -hmm. This is a band that you'll never be part of. Yeah, of I'll never be <laughs> part of because there are no lyrics. Right, yeah. No lyrics. But um, I think that that's what makes it um, very interesting and, and, and unique and cool is that you get to to feel the kind of emotions they want to convey right, yeah. just through the kind of music that they make and then mm. i the first time i got to to, to see them live was in 70s bistro tapos mm. parang ano parang yung typical gig na madami tao blah blah yeah, tapos yeah. chill kwentuhan pagpasok ko <laughs> first time ko sa performance so parang okay asan yung lyrics tapos no second or third song na hindi mo ma ma feel that time actually passed by right. because you're just there and you're just like waiting for for the song no, 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 you're not waiting for anything. It's just that 
every emotion that you think you had or have or will have was encapsulated in just just one whirlwind right. of mm-hmm. performance and yeah. and i yeah. think that's what's amazing about earth mover is that sometimes you know you just don't, don't have to say anything yeah. yeah yeah true uh you know this whole post-rock thing you know uh, explosion in the sky mm-hmm. and, 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 and you know i as a musician um i love that you know, I, I I love that stuff. Like, uh, for example, uh, what's the the Japanese band? Because I'm drunk, I'm forget. To, to. To, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you know, they 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 say so much uh, without using any words, and 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 I think that's why we love watching movies, for example, mm-hmm. um, because um, even if there are no words spoken uh, spoken on the screen, when you hear the music, you kind of feel, for example. Uh, uh, the Dark Knight, for example, uh, even before uh, the Joker shows up, you you, you know you, you hear the music and then you go, okay, something's going, you know, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. something's fucking gonna happen. Mm-hmm. That's the thing that I love about the best of what's known as post rock because you know mm-hmm. there um, when you close your eyes and you listen to their music, there's kind of a music in your head. There's emotions evoked. And um, you're kind of um, uh, led to your, your own interpretation of yeah, what that's it's going to be. That's true. That's true. And and for the most part, even with music that has lyrics, mm-hmm. you know, even the best um, people like 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 Bamboo, for example, mm-hmm. or even or even Bono, oh, would say the no. same thing. You know, here's what I wrote, but it's up to you to uh, interpret it the way yeah. that you want it, and mm-hmm. that's. And these are two people with, uh, who use words. So the, the challenge of having people not using any words, but evoking the emotions that, mm-hmm. that you know. That they want to make you yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's when music is really powerful. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. And for our next one, we have Mono. Yeah. Mono. OK. Have you ever had Mono? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> what? I've never had Mono. <laughs> Okay, Medjo. <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> Sabi ko. In my little corner. Mm-hmm. Joyce is laughing because she probably has. I've never, I've never, I've never had my. I've never had. I've never had. So. Been, so it's just I can say that with a lot of confidence. <laughs> I am not getting this, but yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> she's, never had, she, she's never had mono, and or even if she did, she wouldn't know. She wouldn't know. Okay, whatever that is. Uh, I, I unfortunately haven't had the opportunity to watch M- Mono. Okay. Mm-hmm. But Francis? Okay. Um, okay, going back to the post rock thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we've you know we we've said these things like oh you know the music uh, of of these instrumental post rock bands there's no guitar solos or whatever. Uh, they put images in your yeah. head. But to be ob- objective, sometimes. When you see a post-rock instrumental band, it's like, mm-hmm. the fuck's going on? It's just a bunch of guys playing chords and, you know, uh, getting head so bang. Much, yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're going, you're, you're, they're, they're getting in so much into the music. It's like, okay, yeah, it's a bunch of guys, you know, kind of jacking themselves off. And like, <laughs> even if there's no guitar solos, the thing that I love about Mono is uh, their music is very simple and and it's very glacial. Mm-hmm. Glacial. Glacial. Oh. Maybe that's the proper way of pronouncing it. Nobody knows. But they have visuals to um, to complement their music. Um, like for example, a few months ago, you know, I'm a big uh, fan of Explosions in the Sky. So when when I listen to their records, when I listen to their music, you know, I, I, like what you said. There's a movie going on in your head, mm-hmm. associations and stuff, and you're like, you know, oh, this is all so good. Then I saw them on stage live at the uh, Samsung Hall uh, at the, in, in SM Aura. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, first song, I was like, oh, shit, man. Third song was like, <laughs> uh. Do I really want to see this balding <laughs> guitar player, you know, play chords and play through effects? <laughs> the thing with mono is they have visuals, and that's the key to being in a post-rock band, in my opinion. Um, 
when you listen to the records, go ahead and do whatever you want. But if you're going to play live, um, try to make it easy for the for the audience, especially people who have never heard of your band before, because when you know they'll get that feeling um, when when you play live. But they need something to latch on to visually. Mm -hmm. So when I was watching uh, Explosion in the Sky, I was like, yeah, this is all great, but you know, I'm, I'm fucking bored by the by the third song. Mm -hmm. Mono is the is, is a local <coughs> band, and they do have visuals. Mm -hmm. So because for me, uh, the thing about this whole post rock thing, maybe I'm old or whatever, <laughs> but it does help to have visuals because even fucking Pink Floyd, who who uh, who are the godfathers of the whole post rock thing. They had visuals and you know and they had actual proper fantastic awesome fantastic songs but even they had visuals yeah just to help you along yeah. especially if you're not a fan of the band mm. um so i love mono for that you know the mono the man not uh, the thing that well, yes that yes you're i, I should uh, yeah. look yeah. up to that later yeah. <laughs> okay uh, next we have moonwalk well, well, uh, I've heard one of their uh, songs, mm -hmm. and parang it will give you this um, 80s vibe, eh? 80s electronica vibe. Kasi, Where were you born? Well, nine, 89, so 80s. Diba? Like last year, diba? Diba? Am, I, am I right? Are we, are we passing around the question, Francis? No, I'm just... I'm just, I'm just <laughs> no, I, I mean... Okay, I mean, okay, okay, okay. That's not... I was born in the, in, in the late 60s, so I have an opinion on the, on the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> so, because they were boom yung parang mga EDM music last year, so uh, this act is like one of them, and I think uh, their album was part of uh, VandalsOnTheWall.com's top 25 albums of 2013 at number 14. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know what Vandals dot. What? Vandals Vandals, uh, Vandals on the wall It's like an indie music website. Yeah. Okay. And parang they feature. Of course, yeah, indie bands. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes, and next up, Save Me Hollywood. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yes, of course. Take me back to the night shot on a go. How did we get so hot? Sorry. Yes. Didn't have LSS. Didn't have LSS. No, I'm, I, I was just listening to you, you know, what? do that thing. Do the what? Do yeah. the what? What thing? The Wait, same thing. Dilly, can you catch my empty beer can? <laughs> empty beer can. <laughs> well, uh, translation is I need another. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it's empty. Uh, yeah, Save Me Hollywood. I've been seeing them perform mm -hmm. for for the longest time already, and I I think 2013 was a really great year for yeah, them for because them. they released their album mm -hmm. and two singles that that. Changes was also nice. Yes, right? changes. changes. And that was the latest, latest song. Latest mm -hmm. song. Yeah. I've seen you know, I've seen them live, and I know most of them personally. So, mm -hmm. great job. Yes, yes. Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Next is yes, I agree with this. She's only sixteen. Yes, she's only mm -hmm. sixteen. I think uh, one of a guy uh, my age, you know, when <laughs> jail bait. She's only sixteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, gonna I'm gonna go. Usap na lang tayo sa barangay, ha? Ano yung mag coffee na lang tayo? Coffee na lang tayo. Benta silang yung band na yan sa mga ano talaga high school girls today. High school girls. They're always requested by uh, those um, all girls school during their fairs and variety yeah, yeah, shows. Yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, they're part of uh, Wonderland. Wonderland last year. Wonderland. Yeah. Yes, yes, Wonderland. Oh my God! And there's now more I think they were playing for uh, Seven One Hundred Seven Music Festival. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, How's that? Uh, Sorry, that, yeah. uh, off topic. How's that gig coming along? Because you know. Yeah, because uh, they released um, the Phase Two lineup. I think last night or yesterday. Okay. And part of it is Cascade, Kendrick Lamar, and of course on our local band, Sponge Cola, Rocksteady, and. She's only 16 and other DJs. Yeah, the Chili Peppers are going to be there. Again. Yes, they will headline it as well. Chili mm -hmm. Peppers, no. I'm so excited. Yay. Okay. Okay. Um, adding to our list of the best acts from 2013, we have Stereo Deal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, I'm kind of par uh, partial to this band because um, uh, 
Well, Adrian Arcega, the uh, lead singer, the vocalist, guitarist, and uh, yeah, front man, he, he is my housemate. We kind of You have alike. lots of housemates. No, I only have one. Oh, okay. That's mm. Adrian. <laughs> uh, but we kind of look alike, so it's a, it's a great joke. We, you know, I can, I can answer the door and then... Uh, AIDS! Uh, no, I have less, I have less uh, leg here than those mm. one. I'm not AIDS. <laughs> The thing, about, uh, the thing that I love about uh, Stereo Deal, um, and, I'm, and, and, I'm, and I'm actually uh, producing, co-producing their, their first album. Mm -hmm. um, um, and I, I can imagine it now when, when, you know, when people see this and then you know, our friends, Adrian's friends and, and I, when, it, when I say, even Adrian himself would probably feel funny about it because we don't really talk about his music or whatever. Uh, the, uh, the great thing about Stereo Deal is, uh, for me as a, as a guitar player, as a, as a producer, you know, the, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of great things happening uh, w with their music. Um, as a guitar player, uh, and you know, I've never told Adrian this face to face, you know, we talk about all sorts of things mm -hmm. when we're at home, Doctor Who and, because he's a fucking certified geek. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll uh, you know I'll, I'll say this now, uh, Adrian you know as a guitar player he experiments with different kinds of sounds and, mm -hmm. and all that which I can relate to as a guitar player you know Tom Morello the Edge and whatever, but the the, the great thing about it is um, you can't separate the guitar sounds from the songwriting, mm -hmm. which is the the same thing that you can say about um, the best of you too. Yeah. Guitar players will go, oh, you know, this guy, uh, the IG plays with a lot of effects. That's cheating, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But if you're a, but if you're a music fan and you don't know the details about these things, all you know is that particular guitar sound, I can't separate that from the music itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. From whatever Bono is, you know, is, is expressing. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, in, in his own way, Adrian is kind of like Bono and The Edge in one, in, in one person. Yay, Bono! Yeah. You too. And there's a lot of people who hate you too and hate Bono for all of you. you know, I'm, no, you know, but I'll, I love you. I'll be the first one to. I'll be the first one to defend you too. And I did see them live a couple of years ago. And I cried, and did you cry? Really? I, I would cry if I wa if I get mm. to watch them. Live. It was I was watching the the Vertigo Milano po a leg um on online uh, like a few a few nights back, and I was like, putang ina yung pinul yung babae on stage, was it? Yeah, I saw a tweet about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put I love it. But wait till you watch them live. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot. I just cannot. I just cannot grasp it. If I if yeah. I get to, to watch them. Initially, I had, I had tears falling down my cheeks, which is the. <laughs> Am I really <laughs> here? And then you're and crying then, now, the facade. And then being an older guy again, I I love saying older guy. <laughs> They played a song that's uh, yeah the uh, the unforgettable fire. And and Joyce is like. I don't know unforgettable yeah, okay. fire. Yeah. yeah, well that's the title cut from their 1984 album which had pride in it. And which then they, is like nine nine years yeah, before it. It wasn't a single and Dylan's going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Her, fucking hurry up or. Let's go. Wait, are, are you telling us to hurry up or? He's know, like okay. yeah, brother man. Okay, brother man, yay. So, you know, they played City of Blinding Lights. Oh, shit. Which is very important to me. Oh, what a beautiful song. Then they started playing The Unforgettable Fire. So, the initial Tears of Joy, City of Blinding Lights. The Unforgettable Fire. I was fucking crying my eyes out. And um, if people gave um, Stereo Deal a chance to be that successful and that that influential. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't want to say they have the, the potential to be the YouTube of the Philippines, but in terms of uh, sound and, and sincerity. Okay, um, let me just say this one last thing about Stereo Deal. We were uh, recording one of, this, uh, one of their songs called New Jersey. All right, uh, and again, you, uh, Stereo Deal has that balance of 
what appeals to me as a musician, as a guitar player, and and you know, and and, and as a uh, as a fan of pop melodies and, and mm -hmm. you know everything that I, that I am as a musician, all right. So I was producing, you know, that song, and as a joke, I said, I told Adrian because he, he's my housemate. I'm yeah. very comfortable. I said, Oh, you know, just think about the, you know, that time. You know, I don't, I don't know what New Jersey is all about, but you know that. Some, you know, the first time that someone rubbed her cock, rubbed her cock or something. <laughs> it turns out that New Jersey was about his, uh, his aunt, who uh, he only met twice, but was very supportive of him being a musician, gave him his first guitar, and uh, died of cancer. <laughs> oh, wow. So, <laughs> okay. one of the bandmates told me, ah, that's about... Uh, <laughs> How did you oh, say your face from that? I, uh, I, I couldn't. Did, so I, and I never said sorry for, for, for that. <laughs> AIDS, I'm, I'm really sorry for We need a close-up for this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, um, please. But, the, but the great thing is, um, Adrian felt... Um, he always feels what he's writing, and, 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 and he felt what he wrote. So... I think he didn't hear what I said as producer. Mm -hmm. He didn't hear my suggestion as producer mm -hmm. to you know to get the emotional content out mm -hmm. because he already had it because he wrote the song and it, it was for that ad um, who was supportive of him. So, AIDS, this is my apology. Take I'm very right sorry now. if it's public. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will be replayed, right? So. Download it. Download it lang and uh, and pag dumbas ng download, I'll, I'll tag you. This is my formal apology <laughs> because when I get home, mommy, I don't think I'll, I have the f fucking balls to apologize. So this is my apology to you. Yay! Yay. Okay. And that took forever, didn't it? <laughs> kind of. Next on the list, we have Trinidad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're quiet usually. Like, yes, because I never got to like uh, listen to them. Oh, yeah. You. No idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's 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 okay. So you take it. That, you take that as a I'll negative, take it. but it just. It, no, no, no. It's okay. It's yeah, okay. but it just means that you know they're like even if I'm so immersed in the music yeah. scene already or in the local bands, there's still so many good bands that I don't get to watch okay, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and get to listen to. And that's the reason why we have shows like this and we have Amplify.ph so that you yeah. can... Right? Because you think that... This is what I, we're here for. Yeah, because you think that I work in the music industry and right. I get to see all these talented people and I get to meet them every single day in my life. But then there are so many talented um, musicians that we have here in the Philippines that I, I, didn't, I don't even know about. Two bands okay. already. From the list mm -hmm. that we have the best acts of 2013. True. Yeah, um, we had... Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mono. Yeah, Mono. Mono, Mono. So, so, it just means that it's... The local music scene is constantly expanding. Yeah, yeah. It it's is, getting bigger. Yeah, it's get. It's not only getting bigger. It's also getting better in the context yeah. that mm -hmm. they get to show the kind of music. Because it used to be sometimes that you know they're they're kind of afraid and then wala wala pa nung parang wala pang pedestal to 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 you know to put it out there aside from the local bar gigs. And yeah. then now you have the online thing. You have Amplify. You have these podcasts. And so I think that just gives us you know. Time. Yeah. That, um. You mentioned the word pedestal, and yeah, and this is why pedestals are are kind of a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, regardless. Why do you say of, so? Okay, when 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 you say pedestal, for example, I uh, you kind of put someone or you know a group mm -hmm. of people um, kind of define what everything else has to be. If okay. if you think about it, yeah. Right. No, well, well, yeah. Well, I don't define it that way, but yeah, okay. That, it but you, be that. not not for us, but but for a lot of other people who yeah, um, yeah, yeah, who are yeah. not. It's like setting mm -hmm. an example for something else that should exactly, be done. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Trinda is, is on the list because you know they were on my list. Um, mm -hmm. Here's the thing. You know, we're talking about the music industry and how serious it is, and 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 the potential of Filipino music and and. Um, uh, 
Pinoy music is not just all about ballads and 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 Daniel Padilla. And I, I respect Daniel Padilla, by the way, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because I I know the guy who wrote his uh, his the his, song his, Nasayo na ang lahat. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he's a he's a great guy. He wrote you know he um, he wrote uh, a lot of great songs for for Gary Valenciano. Um, hey Gary. Gary? I love Gary V. Dude, Gary, Gary, v. Gary V's like Gary V's like the re- no 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 kidding. Gary V is the reason why I pursued being a musician. Yeah, yeah. I started yeah. to write and sing because of Gary V because I grew up in a Christian family, yeah. mm-hmm. and so we would either always listen to old tracks that are either Beatles or. Oh, dude, hataw na. Oh my okay. god. Okay. Does your Christian songs like Sayawe? Sayawe, okay. Yeah. The guy who wrote Sayawe uh. for Gary Vee is the same guy who wrote Say Nang Lahat for, for uh. Junji Marcelo. The, Junji Marcelo. Much respect. Oh my god. And, and mm-hmm. I don't think he's gonna watch this because I'm gonna say fucking shit and whatever. <laughs> he's a born again Christian and, and, and he's a pastor and whatever. But But he's, you know, he's an open minded guy. Um, he he wrote, "Hataw na." Yes. Sayawe, and and all that. And then he also wrote that uh, that that song of um, uh, Dolphy's daughter. Zia Kizon. Zia Kizon. Ako na lang. Ito mo ba yun? Siya nasa siya ba? Ah, ako na lang. Ako na lang. Yes. Junji wrote that, and you know, I you know, met the guy. A beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful person. He's into hip hop and and a, and a fantastic songwriter. And I'm losing my point because yeah. I'm now I'm, I'm thinking of uh, Junji right now. Ha- yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was my what was the point of this this last quest? It's was about it? pedestal. Yeah, pedestal. No, pedestal is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm still kind of not getting the point. <laughs> Your point is that you know certain musicians don't have to be put on a pedestal for everybody else to follow. It's just that you get to you know do whatever it is that you want and put put right, music right, out right, right. Okay, yeah. Junji is a is is an, uh, is a great example of a songwriter who uh, does whatever he uh, whatever he feels. Yeah. And uh, whether it's uh, uh, Zia Kizon or Daniel Padilla or, or yeah. Gary mm-hmm. V. Oh, ever yeah. The, 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 the main point is he's writing songs that uh, that if if you take away these personalities, you know, it's 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 a universal thing. Yeah, it is a universal thing. You know, and and that's what music should do. Um, go. 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 Original Filipino music, OPM, whatever. <laughs> Let's just accept the fact, and it is a fact, that the forms that we deal with, whether it's, you know, Save Me Hollywood, na medyo emo pop punk or whatever, yeah. mm-hmm. come on, that's a Western form. All right? Yung, the song that Junji wrote for, for Zia Kizon, me hip hop, it shuffle, ganyan, 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 ganyan. You know, Ang problema ng Pilipino kasi ang tulog Pinoy kailangan ganito lang eh. Mm. Uh, where in reality um ang tulog ng Pilipino nagagaling sa puso talaga eh. So whether your form is hip hop, rock, metal, or... rock, whatever it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. What defines uh, Filipino music is you uh you express something, even something as profound and yet as stupid as saying "I love you." Yeah. Ang Pilipino may paraan tayo para express yan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's very specific. Our culture uh, dictates na not, not dictates, but um, our history, culture, whatever mm. says. Well, di man, di naman yung which is fine, but there's other ways, you know, yeah. culture filters into it and, and, and whatever. Yeah. You go to the forum, it's actually very Western. Mm-hmm. So, 
forgetting my point because I'm drunk. The point is that music is such a universal thing that you get to um, express it in so many ways and I think that's a strength that um, Filipino local Filipino music yeah. has is that we have so many messages that we want to send out there and the Pag beautiful thing is Exactly! Pag sinabi ng uh, tao na nagsusunod ka sa English there, therefore hindi ka Pilipino pero yung in-express mo for example, if it's love or hate or whatever, mm -hmm. pero kung in-express, uh, whether English or Tagalog, uh -huh. Bisaya or whatever, <clears throat> kung yung informasyon na nilalabas mo ay alam mo at alam ng, you know, the rest yeah. of the world okay. that it comes from a very specific cultural sensibility, that's what makes it Filipino. So, and yun yes. lang, yun, yun yun. And that's why I wanted to guess on this show because I'm really sick and tired of our Philippine music is always is is just this. Yeah. It's mm. only just this. It's only just this. When someone tells you it's that, tell them. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> go, Fuck go. off or. <laughs> you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yeah. But hey. for example, the, these uh, these girls have fantastic legs. Ang beautiful legs by a Western thing lang. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not. And it is just as universal as the music that we make here in the Philippines. And our top um, acts for 2013, Indie Acts, just proves that we have so many other people and so many other acts and musicians that we need to get to know and listen to this 2014. So yes. thank you very much, Mr. Francis Brew. Thank and you. One more, louder, louder. And one more thing. Kung yung mga yung mga artists, the, uh, you know, this past hour and... Has it been one hour or two hours? I don't know, man. One, one, hour. one. Okay. They're asking us. Yeah, Start they're here. Ready. There's a lot more. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Start here. Starting point. Of, we're not telling you who you should. We're kind of telling you. Yeah, who we're to kind the of. Uh, <laughs> to so. But Trust us. <laughs> start here. We are not dictating who you should listen to, who should who you should look out for. Start. Here. here. Start here because we all gotta start somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. And if you go, well, this person is better than who you mentioned, then great. That's fine. That's fine. We're it's all to well and good. Yeah. God bless you. You are. Uh, no. Thank you once again for joining Thank us you. here at Louder Louder. Thank you very much, Mr. Francis Brown. Yeah. And that's great. See you once again Wednesday next week, 7 p.m. right here at live.mfnetwork.com. Yes. My name is Joyce Spring. My name is Nikki. And here is Francis Brew, and we are out. <laughs>